There's a whole article in the paper today, honey, and I'm worried. Mom, I'm busy. I'm at work. I'm reading all kinds of scary stories about Target in the paper, honey. Mom. They're saying... Wh- what are they saying, Mom? Well, they say you're coming out of a fourth quarter better than expected, but profits are still shrinking. What is going on, Brian? I'm worried. Mom, please, I've got this. I'm just so worried about you, honey. It's all going to be fine, Mom. And what about these gift card scams? I I read that Target is getting hit the hardest by these scammers. Who the hell are these people? Scammers are going to scam, Mom. That's what they do. I'm not worried. There was some pushback to appear like we cared, so I threw a small committee on it. It's all good. Look, I got to get back to work, Mom, okay? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. It's really bad. I heard people are losing thousands and thousands of dollars, mostly unsuspecting old people like me. Right, Mom. But really, think about it. How dumb do you have to be to fall for that crap? I mean, seriously, they kind of deserve it. Did you know that most of them don't even tell anyone? They're so scared and ashamed when it happens. Anyway, honey, I'm still worried. You're you're having a rough few years. I got this, Mom. You sure, honey? Yeah. Who raised me, Mom? I did. That's right. You did. And you didn't raise a loser or a quitter, did you? No, I did not. That's right. So please, trust me. Okay, honey, but but indulge me for a second. Tell me about something you got cooking in the kitchen. Something you got up your sleeve, because I know you're always thinking, always on to some new hot idea. Okay, okay, I'll tell you one thing, but, but then I gotta go and get back to work. You know, I'm a CEO, Mom. Thank you, honey. Tell me. I won't tell anyone. Okay, well, I'm gonna invest about $5 billion over the next few years. I'm gonna open 20 new stores nationwide, and I'm going to upgrade. Y- you know, like give a f- whole full-on makeover to about 175 existing stores. Well, that's terrific. Y- you've got the money to do this, Brian, honey? Yes, Mom. And you know, I mean, I do have one little trick up my sleeve. Oh! I know you did. Do I know you or what? You always got something cooking. Okay, listen to this. We're going to make changes to how people return the crap they've bought. We're going to make the returns desk only available through drive up. Drive up? Like a drive up window? Yeah, drive through returns. How is that going to help people buy more crap? I mean, uh, goods. Don't you want them in the store? Okay, well, I, I, okay, I can see why you'd say that. I can see why you'd think that keeping people in the store would help business, but no. Mom, Mom, Target is all about selling affordable joy, Mom. Affordable joy. And I don't need those grump-ass returns people bringing their negative energy inside my stores. It is not contributing to the joy vibe. Look, I don't care if they do buy an extra pair of sweatpants when they return the TV that doesn't work. You know, Plus... And you didn't hear it from me. I'm going to make sure not to leave too much room in the parking lot for a long line of cars. People will be forced to give up and keep the stuff. Hello, profits. Well, now you're sinking, Brian, honey. Look, Mom, I got to go. Um, Oh, uh, real quick. Um, How's Smiling Hills? How's the nursing home treating you? Good, I hope. Oh, the best. Okay, good. You and your friends, you doing okay? You still got your group trips? They're still taking you guys on your weekly shopping trips to Target? Oh, yeah. We're having a blast. Uh, those little bus rides are such a hoot. Uh, we're going this afternoon, actually. Excellent. Excellent. Anybody uh, anybody new at the nursing home recently? Any uh, Any new friends? Well, now that you mention it, someone did move in next door to room 24. And guess who it is? Who? Mrs. Gully. Who? Who is that, Mom? Gertrude Gully. You remember? Your first grade teacher. Oh, no shit. Yeah. And you know what? It's so sad. She barely recognized me. She's got the beginning stages of dementia and... Pardon my French, but she doesn't know her ass from her elbow anymore. Uh, uh, Room 24, you said? Yeah, you know, right next to me. What a life she's had. Taught first grade for almost 48 years, and, and both the kids are gone. So sad. Did you know that? 
one in, in that horrible ski accident and and her husband he left it just as soon as she couldn't remember where she kept the can open and make his daily tuna fish sandwich can you imagine she's been making his meals for almost 50 years and then poof the second her mind goes he dumps her for a woman half her age but I guess the good news, if I'm naughty, is that with mild dementia, she doesn't really remember them. Yeah, that's sad, Mom, really. But look, I gotta go. All right, honey. Go get him, champ. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye, sweetie. Oh, man. This is too perfect. Mrs. Gully? She was such a dipshit back then. Oh, my God. Gullible Gully, we'd call her. And she used to walk so slowly. I'd always be like, hurry up, lady. And she'd laugh. And what an idiot. Oh, man. We pranked her so hard in high school, and she fell for it every single time. And now she's got the beginning stages of dementia. This is too perfect. Hi, can I have room tw- Can I have room 24, please? Hello? Hello, Mrs. Gully? Yes, yes, this is Mrs. Gully. Mrs. Gully, this is Amazon calling. We have an important matter to discuss with you regarding your account. What? Hello? Wait, what? Who is this? This is Amazon. We are calling because your account is delinquent. I'm sorry, I, I don't- Really? Your account is seriously delinquent, Mrs. Gully, and I'm afraid things are not looking very good for you oh, right no. now. Oh, no. Am I in trouble? Oh, yeah. You are likely in a fair amount of trouble, Mrs. Gully. You bought a laptop, uh, excuse me, two laptops that you did not pay for, and you have an outstanding balance due of $6,000. Oh, I, I, look, I don't remember buying two computers. Your account and... is seriously delinquent, Mrs. Gully, and if you refuse to pay these charges, I'm going to have to report you to the federal government. But no, I, I didn't do that. I, I didn't buy any laptops. I Look, I don't even know how to buy a look, laptop. I have it right here. Mrs. Gully's Amazon account, two laptops total six thousand dollars look I'm, I'm this is this is very confusing for me and I, look i'm sorry my husband usually he's not my husband anymore but yeah we know he, that mrs gully we called him and spoke to his new wife who gave us your number oh and if you don't pay us immediately we will have no choice but to call your local police department to sort this look, out the, the police no look i i don't know sir i really I don't remember doing anything. Nice try, Mrs. Gully. We've heard this whole, oh, I don't remember routine a thousand times. You can't fool us. Well, you've asked for it. I'm patching the police in now. No. Hello, officer. Yes, this is Officer Bryant. Uh, hi, officer. I have a Mrs. Gully on the line who owes Amazon $6,000 for some laptops she bought but decided not to pay for. Oh, yes, Mrs. Gully. We've been made aware of these delinquent payments. I have to break it to you that unless you pay this outstanding bill, we're going to have to file formal criminal charges against you. Criminal charges? Oh, I just don't understand. That sounds so serious and, and scary. And It is I, serious, I, Mrs. Gully. You, well, okay, then. Um, well, I haven't been feeling well, and, and now I'm in a nursing home. Yeah, yeah, we know. But unless you settle these charges, you're going to be in some serious trouble. However, there is a way to avoid formal charges, Mrs. Gully. Really? Oh, great. How, how, how do I do that? Oh, I'll let this good sir from Amazon explain it to you. Goodbye. I'm advising you to do the right thing. Okay, Mrs. Gully, let's talk about how you can settle this delinquent account. To avoid the charges, you'll need to uh, go to the nearest Target and buy $6,000 worth of gift cards. Okay. But you'd have to do it right now. Otherwise... No, no, no. Oh, oh, yes, I, may, I can. I mean, well, maybe I can. I, I just... Oh, we, we have a shuttle that, that goes to Target this afternoon. I, I think I, I have to ask. I, let me let me just go and ask. Mrs. Gully, I hope you are taking this seriously. When you come home from Target this afternoon, I expect you to have 12 $500 gift cards purchased. I'll call you this evening. Goodbye, Mrs. Gully. Mrs. Gully takes the Smiling Hills nursing home bus to Target and returns home later that evening. Hello again, Mrs. Gully. I hope you've got those cards. Yes, yes, I do. I have them right here. 
I'm not going to be arrested, am I? I'm so scared. Mm, well, we'll see about that. Once you read me the serial numbers off the back of the cards and everything appears to be in order, then we'll see about dropping the charges. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the first one is 5229... Two, Five two two nine three nine six four three nine six four two two. Mrs. Gully, is there a problem? Hurry up! Is that is that one two or two twos? No, it's just your voice reminds me of someone that I used to know. They they say that that I have dementia, which makes me unable to remember all sorts of things. But I do remember most of the little children I taught when I was younger. Hurry up, lady. Did you say hurry up, lady? Little Brian, is that you? Uh, um... Brian Cornell, yes, yes, I thought that was you. Oh, shit. Now, now, now look here, young man, watch your language. It's me, Mrs. Gully, your first grade teacher. Brian Cornell, oh, I'm so happy to hear from you. It's been so long. I, I'm, I'm so happy to hear. I, I've been so proud of you all these years. You know, you're my biggest success story. I've been reading about you in the paper. What's this I hear? A big CEO of a Fortune 500 company? Uh, oh, you were always such a little prankster. I had a thousand first grade students in my career, and I'll tell you, I always remembered you. Oh, what a sweet little kid you were. You know, even when you did get into trouble, which was more than a little often than I liked, if I'm being honest, we worked through it, didn't we? Oh, Brian Cornell, now what brings you to me today? Oh, how is it that you're calling me? Oh, you know what? I saw your mother today. That's right. On the bus to Target. I didn't know she was at Smiling Hill. What a coincidence. You see, I'm in assisted living now because of the dimension. Wait a second. Are you trying to fool me with this gift card business? Is this a big joke? Now, don't you lie to me, Brian. You you know that lying is wrong. We, we've talked about this. You crank called me multiple times way back when. We had to have a big talk with your parents about this. No, no, no. I, I, I was, it was just a joke. I, I wasn't serious, honest. Yes, I, yes. Now, don't you lie to me, no. Brian Cornell. I could always tell when you were lying. <laughs> and you are lying to me now. You had me to go all the way to Target to buy those cards, didn't you? Yes. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. Gully, I'm sorry. Well. I've lost my way. My sales are down, and honestly, look, I don't do many of these scam calls, I swear to God. I, mm. But the thing is, the truth is, all gift card business is good for business, even if it is a scam. Your mom told me on the bus today that you were going to invest four billion dollars to expand Target considerably. But don't you think that you first ought to take care of the people you've scammed first? I mean, you tried to scam me, your first grade teacher, the person who taught you how to read. Don't you think that knowing how to read helped you with your career as a businessman? I'm sorry, Mrs. Gully. I'm sorry. Please don't tell my mom. Please don't tell my mother. Taught you how to read and you think about how to read a scam book? <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm probably going to forget this conversation anyway. But listen, Brian, now that I've got you on the horn, tell me, what have you been up to? Well, 